hi there, team all So we are back with Pokemon Storm Silver episode. I think it's 80. Yay, 80 episodes of this. Okay, so let's just quickly um poke a gear. And next up, we got to go through Mount Moon, and then we got to get to Cerulean. Oh, I don't like Mount Moon. I hate Mount Moon. I don't hate it. Okay, I just don't like it because there's a lot, a lot, a lot of Zubats. And as you recall, I'm not very fond of running into weak Pokemon that I can't actually do anything against. Of course, we're going to buy 99 Pokeballs, because now that I think about it, we're going to run into a lot of Pokemon that we're going to capture later on. But eh, I guess I should have kind of waste, saved my money. Not wasted. Why would I say wasted? And Max Repels, yeah, going to need as many of those as I can. That pretty much blow my money on my Max Repels. Yeah, maybe I should have got yeah, that's something to kill my Pokemon with. Seems like a good idea. Alright, Dre doesn't need the experience share anymore, and especially since he's like 52 and like the lowest level here was 50, so. Nell, tis all up to you to level up and whatnot. But anyways, until further notice, we're just gonna go to a oh, hey, house. Houses always have things in them. Things could be good. Nidoran guy, shake hands. I don't think you wanna shake hands with a Nidoran. Its ability is poison point, or I think it's poison point, which kind of guarantees you're gonna get poisoned. Especially if you spend that much time with it. Now, that doesn't guarantee it. It's just like a 10% chance, which, you know, that's, that's going to be a lot someday. Anyways, it's the first trainer of this route. Youngster, goodness, how rude. Call me Shorts Boy. Is it actually going to say Shorts Boy on his title? Youngster, Regis. Wow, that's kind of lame. First bug one is Crobat, a flying poison type, so it's weak to uh, the psychic attacks and stuff like that. I do not know, good sir. And the final Pokemon is Electrode, the electric type Pokemon that is usually found exploding or self-destructing. And wow, Nell fainted immediately. You know, I think I should just put Nell with the experience here in the back once again. Nell just doesn't seem to be the one who's offensive. What if I have to replace Nell? That would kind of suck. Mm. Ooh, wise glasses. Slightly boost the power. Yeah, I know. It, yeah, I knew that. And quick claw. Actually, we're going to take that and I give you the uh, lucky egg of luck. And the egg of luck goes to Lucario for being as lucky as absolutely nothing. Also, sh shouldn't the luck incense, 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 whichever it is, Yes, I would like to switch ads. Shouldn't it, um, instead of, you know, giving you double money, I love the fact that it gives you double money, but shouldn't it actually do something more along the lines of, I don't know, giving you more experience? It kind of seems that since lucky egg, luck, the whole luck thing would be with experience instead of, or then again, maybe it should be called the skill egg instead of the lucky egg. Yeah, lucky egg seems to be more money related. Luck and money seem to go hand in hand. Whereas skill and experience go hand in hand so i'm not entirely sure how luck would evaluate to experience uh but this is just crap nobody cares about get on my bike and let's get out of here guys out of here out of this town and there should be tons of train uh, th that's a rock i thought this right here right in front of me was a trainer also if you bring your deoxys here it can change f what lucario feels an odd presence around this area there doesn't appear to be anything here, though. Uh, uh, where is it, Lucario? Tell me, boy. Tell me. Uh, Lucario. Yes, it's a meteorite from space. That's odd. I could have sworn there was something here. Nope. Not near. Eh. Stairs. Okay, so apparently there's nothing here, but if we come back. Where is it? It's on that side someplace. I'm just gonna tap A over and over and over. Sure. Is it, huh? Uh-huh. Okay, yeah. Where is the Deoxys thing? Could have sworn there was like one right over here. Maybe there's like an event for it later. Eh, I don't know. I probably won't be doing it right now. 
Uh, cause yeah, I said I'm gonna get all my eight badges, and then we'll do that. Anyways, it's a double battle, so here we go! First Pokemon, and, well, first and only Pokemon are Star Raptor, a flying normal type, and Polyrath, a fl fighting water type. And that battle was awkward because Dre fainted. And when Dre faints, bad things happen to everybody. And there's another trainer, and there's one right behind him. And then there's like 50 more, and then there's a dark cave, a mountainous, and moon. First Pokemon is War Turtle, the water type Pokemon evolved from a Squirtle. Second Pokemon is Noctowl, the evolved form of Hoot Hoot. Final Pokemon is Gligar, the poison flying type Pokemon. And with that out of the way, here we go on to another trainer battle. Any day now. I can run like the wind! First Pokemon is Cloyster, an ice water type Pokemon. Second Pokemon is Raichu, an electric type Pokemon and the evolved form of Pikachu. Final Pokemon is Parasect, the bug grass type. And trainer Jimmy is down for the count. Let us go down here and uh, there's just a fire guy. Let me see my team. Uh, I'm gonna put up Nell up in front because Nell kind of needs the experience the most and is the weakest in my team and this guy's got fire so I think I can take him. Ah, the weather's fine as ever. <laughs> Why did I do that? First Pokemon is Infernate, the fire fighting type Pokemon and starter from Sinnoh. Second Pokemon is Weezing, the evolved form of coughing and a poison type Pokemon. Also a physically bulky Pokemon. Final Pokemon is Camerup, the fire ground type Pokemon. Alrighty, with that out of the way, we kind of lost our frigging whole team right there. That kind of sucks, but it kind of doesn't because they all kind of leveled up. Everyone's over 50. At at a minimum, everyone's over 50. Max Repel, and let's just go down in the grass over here because I knew there was a path over here. Haha! -ha! I actually didn't. I was just. I always get lucky with this kind of stuff. And it's a big root, which means if you use something like Drain Punch or Mega Drain or Giga Drain or whatever drain, instead of only healing half the total damage you do, you heal 60%, I think, or 55%. It just. It's over half. Not sure entirely how much over half, but it's over half nonetheless. And final trainer before we enter the cave. My bag is digging into my shoulders. When, ha that, ha when that happens, I like to take a break and have a battle. Well, okay, that, I don't, okay, whatever. First Pokemon is Machoke, the fighting type Pokemon and the pre-evolved form of Machamp. Second Pokemon is Hippowdon, the ground type Pokemon. Final Pokemon is Clefable, the normal type Pokemon. And with that out of the way, we will now go on and battle like 58,000 million more trainers. How about you just slow down and give me a chance to defeat you? I'm not slowing down! Nobody can slow me down! I think. I hope. I hope I don't lose. First only Pokemon is Metacham, a fighting and psychic type Pokemon. You know, that guy's Metacham probably could have taken my team if my first attack had missed. And look, it's another fighting guy. Wait a moment, come fight us. Us as in you and your Pokemon, or us as in something else? First Pokemon is Primate, a fighting type Pokemon. Second Pokemon is Vigoroth, a normal type Pokemon, and the pre-evolved form of Slocking. Final Pokemon is Breloom, a fighting grass Ah, oh, shit. How the hell Jaws beat that guy? I have no idea. Wait, legit. Jaws just beat a Breloom, and I did revive Dre because I got worried there. But whatever, Jaws beat a Breloom, Jaws beat a Breloom, Jaws beat a Breloom, and then we're going to fly all back to the town and heal. Alright, so I think there's two more trainers before the cave, or however many there are before the cave, I'm going to go heal as soon as I defeat them, and then we're going to do the cave, because I don't like caves. I want to do it all in one episode. Peace! Huh? When you meet an unknown on... All you want is peace, right? No, I want battles. What's wrong with you, dude? First Pokemon is Magnezone, a steel electric type Pokemon. Second Pokemon is Steelix, the steel ground type Pokemon. Alrighty, and the final trainer, I think, is just this guy. So let's battle him, because he uses fire types, and I got a water type, so I should be set for a step right up and take a look. For what? Look at what? I don't know. Uh, what? First Pokemon is Weezing, a poison type Pokemon. Second Pokemon is Mag Cargo, a fire rock type Pokemon. <sighs> okay, so we got one Pokemon. And Jaws is still ready to kick ass, and oh my gosh, a Pokemon Center, that is so helpful. Like, that is super helpful. We just, awesome. High five, Pokemon Center. Woo! Ah, uh, yeah. The fact that Jaws let out, like, a roar right there gives me an excuse to stretch. Also, stretching is very good for you. You should be stretching. But uh, if it starts to hurt, like, really painfully, you probably don't want to do that. You work your way up to stretches. I'm stretching, that is why I sound weird right now. Uh, <sighs> okay, sorry about the yawn. I always yawn when I'm stretching. That's like the awkwardest thing in gym class, too. I don't have gym class anymore. But back in the day, it was awkward. Anyway, wait, 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 wait. Rocks to smash. Do I really want to smash? No, I don't. It's, it's going to be random Pokemon. What do I need random Pokemon for? I have my Pokemon. 
Hello, Mount Moon. There's the dark tree in the corner. My rivals. What the flip? My rival! Hey, Ray, you are here in Kanto too? Some of the trainers here are tough. What makes it easy to train? Which makes it easier to train my Pokemon. Ray, I know that you are strong, but I can't help but challenge you! Hey, he doesn't sound as mean as he usually was. Is, whiz, was. Whatever. Okay, rival battle against. Rival Silver. 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 First Pokemon is Honchkrow, a dark type Pokemon. Bad, 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 bad. Let's go switch on over to Dre. And it goes for double team. Not that big of a deal considering that it's slower than me and I don't have Shockwave, but I'm going to hit this Thunderbolt anyways. Why did I go for Thunderwave and why did I miss? Oh, god damn it! Let's just speed up this battle. We all know how it goes. Oh, yeah, that's how it goes. Thunderbolt to the face, son. Second Pokemon is Meganium, a grass type Pokemon, which means I should probably switch on over to somebody who has an advantage over grass types, such as Burst Flare over here. So let's go for Belly Drum, and the opponent goes for Swords Dance, which is okay, because I'm going to go for Fire Fang and okay all the darn thing. My attack is at maximum, so unless my opponent can outspeed me, I should be able to take them. Kingdra is a Dragon Flying type, meaning Dragon Water type, I'm sorry. It's a watery dragon, basically it has the advantage over me, but since flying type hits for neutral, I got some damage off and finish it off. He's going to send out Gengar, I'm not going to switch out, instead I'm going to go over to Dre now, who can now take a Thunder, actually, is he going to go for a Thunderbolt? I think he's going to go for a Thunderbolt, but if I'm faster than him, I don't really care, so here we go with Fire Fang. Shadow Balls, oh, why are you throwing your balls in my face, man? That's not cool. Gengar is pretty tough, especially since Shadow Ball is very destructive. And so I guess I'm going to go over to Daiga, since Daiga's faster than it. Let's, let's, I, oh god. I'm hoping Daiga is faster. Yeah, woo, we hit him. Awesome. Stuffy nose, why are you so stuffy? And his next Pokemon, oh hey, I got a level up, that's awesome. And Alakazam, which is probably even faster than Gengar, oh god. Come on, Dragon Rush. Oh, I'm still faster. What now? Now that the cheap Pokemon are out of the way, that includes you, Daiga. We're going to go switch on over to something that's a little easier on the eyes than something overpowered like Daiga. Even though, to be fair, Daiga doesn't win all the battles either, so he's pretty legit. So, meh. Captivate, if the... If the uh, no, no. Captivate's nice and all, but no. It's like Charm. But no, I've got Calm Mind, which is, like, awesome, so I don't really need to decrease. Basically, Calm Mind's gonna boost my special defense and my special attack, whereas Captivate only decreases my opponent's special attack. So, meh. Magmortar is the next Pokemon, and I think the best choice against the Fiery-type Pokemon would be Jaws. So here we go, Jaws. I see, you weren't coming from Kanto just, Kanto just to show off. What, is this his last Pokemon? Oh, crap, it is. Wow, that kind of... I didn't even notice. I didn't pay attention at all. That was, and surprisingly, Magmortar is faster than me. Kind of a letdown. My training's still not good enough. My Pokemon are so weak. It makes me frustrated. But I feel that they are getting better after each battle. Ch. They're still too weak. I need to give them more training. Hey, he's going to Dragon Den. Dragon's Den. Because that's cool. Oh wait a minute. I just realized you get a Dragon d Dragonair if you go to Dragon's Den. It's got extreme speed. It's at level 45. So you know what? Uh, before we go into Mount Moon, we're gonna just do that. We're gonna go all the way back to Johto and get a Dragonair. Yeah, this has been a very awkward episode. Like, I'm not entirely sure why, but it's just been awkward. Hey, 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 that's gonna be awesome! Oh my god, that'd be so awesome! That'd be so awesome! I'm gonna save. What, why am I talking to the PC? <laughs> um, because, yeah, I need to deposit a Pokemon. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I am going to save right before getting the Dr uh, Dratini, right? Uh, Dragonair, which is, like, really high in level. And then you guys get your own Dragonairs, and it'll be, like, random natures. And that'll be awesome, because someone might get a really awesome Dragonair, and someone might get a really not awesome Dragonair, which would be me. But still, I'm going to do that. I'm going to give you guys the save from right before I get it, but I'm gonna save after I get mine in this episode, so it's gonna be like, gonna have an awkward pause. All right, so we're gonna fly on all the way over to, over here, you have to fly to the Victory Road area, or you can go to the Indigo Plateau, but I don't wanna do that, because I think they might challenge me or something that scares me. 
I freaking messed that up like so terribly. I'm gonna go for a max repel, unless we already have one. Yay, we did not have one! And now we're gonna go pick up our dragon air, which I totally forgot about. Hey, old man, how you doing? If Claire allows it, her grandfather, our master, will also. You may enter. Huzzah! Yay, dragons, wait a minute. Wait, exit, and go back in. Look in the corner. Right over there on the side, I think that is, I don't know, I, I think I'll try and zoom in on it, maybe later. I don't know what it is, it just looks awesome. So basically, you surf on back down, and instead of where you would get a Dratini with extreme speed after defeating, or after coming back to this place, uh, you get a Dragonair, which is awesome, so we're gonna do that. Whirlpool, I got you, I got you with my Whirlpools. Wait, do you need Whirlpool to get over here? Like, that's kinda sucky, cause I don't have Whirlpool, which really sucks, a lot. Is that silver with his meganium? Okay, uh, cool. I guess we'll talk to him later. Anyways, we have an opening in our team, and so we're just gonna save Ra here. Ray saves the game. Yes. Saving, 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 Done! Done! Now, I'm gonna export this save so you guys can use it. Okay, so I just put up my save, so you guys can now download that save right before I get this Dragonair. But I'm gonna get my Dragonair right now. Hmm, you came. Your arrival is most fortunate. I have something for you. Take the take this Dragonair as proof that I now know your worth. Dre, Dre, <laughs> Ray received Dragonair from the Master, the Master of God knows what. I will name my Dragonair. It's a male. Um, let's see. A male dragon. Caius, because I feel like naming him Caius. Kai. Kai. Can I make it lowercase? Yes, I can. Kai. U S. Caius. Damn it. Caius. Or Caius. No, Caius. Welcome to the team, Caius. Yes, yes, yes. Go away, old man. I want to see my Caius. Let's see if Caius has a good nature. He's got a Draco plate, which is awesome. Careful nature, which means special attack goes down for special defense, which is a good nature. Huzzah! It also knows Dragon Rush and Extreme Speed. Question of the day. Should I use Caius? Because I could replace... No, who do I replace for Caius? I don't want to replace anybody. I like my team. Okay, question of the day is, should I use Caius and who do I replace with Caius? Anyways... That about wraps it up for now. Remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you already haven't. Bye!